Hi everybody, how are you? I miss you. Uh, this is take two for me. I already um, recorded this video for the turn and talk, but I used Google Slides. And I thought that would be helpful because you could go from one slide to the next with each word, but it ended up not being helpful because we had to, I had to give you permission to view every single slide. So now I'm just gonna make one big video and upload it to our Google Classroom and I'm gonna send it to your parents too. So one way or the other, hopefully you'll make it to this video today. Um, First, hopefully you've already done your pretest for spelling this week. Our uh, list um, one is going to be the list you use to take the pretest. All of the words this week are compound words. Have mom and dad read the words on list one out loud to you. If you get them all right or you only miss one, then go ahead and study list two this week. Otherwise, stay with list one. You also see your five vocabulary words out of the eight that we'll cover this week. These five are going to show up on the spelling and vocab test at the end of the week, so please study those as well. Thanks. All right, when you're done with the uh, pretest, go ahead and complete the first two pages of your spelling packet. That's the weekly spelling list, vocab words. And then this page, 122 in the spelling packet. That shall be done today, okay? The other language arts activity we're gonna cover today is our turn and talk with all eight of our vocabulary words that will show up in our stories this week. This week, we're starting a new unit, which is really appropriate because the title of the unit is Take Action. And we're doing that right now. We're taking action to stay healthy, aren't we? And so the question for all the stories in Unit 5 are, what are ways people can take action? Like staying home so they stay healthy. Right now, I'd like you to get your reader, writer, workshop book out. And go ahead and first open up to our new unit, Unit 5. Take action, and you can read the poem Ben Franklin Stove to somebody at your house. And then we're going to turn the page and go to give and take. Give and take is the uh, this week's theme. Go ahead and read um, the highlights of that and the turn and talk questions. All of our stories this week are going to have the same essential question. How do we get what we need? So sometimes people have to be pretty creative to get what they need. They don't always have maybe money to pay for it right away. They have to think of some ways they can get what they need. Today, our vocabulary words can be found here on the next two pages, 232 and 233. If you look at these pictures, they're going to be the same ones that I'm going to hold up in the cards in a second. Remember, for the turn and talk, I'm going to read the word. I'm going to tell you the definition of the word. I'm going to use the word in an example. And then I'm going to ask you to turn and talk with a grown-up at your house using the word. Remember in the turn and talk, both people talk. So you have a turn, mom or dad has a turn, and then we'll go to the next card. You might need to pause it between cards so that you can have a turn and talk. Okay, are you ready? Here we go. Our first word this week is admit. When you admit something, you confess. Josh had to admit to his mom that he got dirt on her clean sheets. Can you think about something that you've had to admit, a time you've had to confess to something? What did you do? How did you feel when you had to admit that you did something? Ready? Use the word admit, turn and talk. Our next word that we're going to discuss today is barter. When you barter, you trade things for other things without using money. In this example, Amy likes to barter or trade parts of her lunch with Kim. Can you tell your partner about a time when you've made a trade? Or, you've, or you have bartered? What did you trade? What did you get in response? Ready? Turn and talk about barter. Our third word this week is considered. If you've considered something, you thought about it carefully before making a decision. In this picture, Marta thought carefully as she considered which tomato to buy. Can you name something that you've carefully considered? Turn and talk with your mom or dad about a time when you've considered something. Ready? Turn and talk. Our next word is creation. A creation is something you made. In this picture, Elena admired her creation from art class. She made a drawing of an animal. Have you ever made a creation? It doesn't have to be artwork. It could be an invention. You could have built something. What did you create? Will you turn and talk with mom or dad about something you've made, a creation of yours? Ready? 
turn and talk. Our next word is humble. You can see that something is humble when it's not big or important. It's plain, simple, and small. What would be the opposite of humble? Maybe grand? Can you think of something that you have that's humble? It's not big or fancy or important. It's plain, like maybe something you wear or something that is in your toy chest. Just something plain. Nobody would really look at it like, wow, just kind of would, just there. After humble, our next word is an antonym of humble. It means it's the opposite, it's magnificent. Something magnificent is beautiful or grand. Mr. Jacobs took a picture of the magnificent canyon. You can see he's at the Grand Canyon and there's a magnificent view. With your partner, can you talk about a magnificent place you've been to? Have you ever been anywhere with a view like this? Can you turn and talk? Talk about that place with a magnificent view using the word magnificent. Ready? Turn and talk. Our next word is payment. As you can see in this couple, in this picture, the couple is at a yard sale and they're making a payment for a vase. They're using cash to make the payment. We make payments in lots of different things. Maybe you have cash or coins saved up. Do you have a savings account that you've ever used? You've probably seen mom and dad use credit cards or online make online payments using like Venmo or something like that. You're gonna think of a time that you've made a payment for something. What did you buy and how did you pay for it? Use the word payment in your turn and talk. And our last word for today is reluctantly. You can see that these mountain goats step reluctantly down the steep path. How would you move if you were doing something reluctantly, like raising your hand? Maybe you weren't too sure of the answer, right? Have you ever had to do something reluctantly? Maybe mom and dad told you to turn off the TV or the computer so you could brush your teeth and go to bed and you didn't really want to, but you did it anyway, reluctantly. Can you turn and talk with mom and dad about a time when you did something reluctantly? And then listen to them, because I bet they've had things they've had to do reluctantly as well. This is our last word for our turn and talk today. So when you're done, you can go on and write three questions using three of the words in our turn and talk. Make sure you ask your partner those questions and that you've spelled the words correctly. It's been great to see you, and I miss you a lot, and I'll talk to you again tomorrow morning. Bye, guys.